let me ask y'all a question, man. What is the point of these incremental upgrades? PlayStation came out and said it's a necessity. They've pushed the boundaries as far as they can with the base model. Are you serious? Okay, I'm, I'm going to point out two games that might have done it. Might have done it. I'm not going to say Horizon Zero Dawn because I haven't played it. Um, I'm going to go buy it probably within the next month. But I, I haven't played it. I don't have it right now. And I'm not adding that to the list because it just came out. But let's let's say the games that I have right now and the games before the statement, when the statement was made, um, were the games they were talking about. Let, let's, let's take a look at the games that are possibly the games that were pushing the PS4 to its limits. I've got both of them. Until Dawn and The Order of 1886. Name some more games that are graphically groundbreaking like those. Bloodborne isn't. It looks like Dark Souls. It, nowhere near graphically improved. It's nowhere in the same league as either one of these. And this one is barely as good as this. This one is literally leagues past this one. It's like, seriously, fucking this one's way the fuck back here in comparison. Okay? And I know the Order of 1886 was not well received. A lot of people hate it. When I bought it for $10 new... They said I might want to skip it, and I told them, fuck off, it's ten bucks. So again, where are these uh, groundbreaking graphics? And don't tell me it's Grand Theft Auto V. I have that right here, and it looks exactly the same from the PS3 to the PS4. Okay, the only thing they added to the PS4 version was first-person view, so miss me with the bullshit. Um, so again, where are these needs for incremental upgrades, and... I'll tell you, on the Xbox One side, you have Rise, Son of Rome, and nothing else. There's no amazing other game with graphics like Rise, Son of Rome. On Xbox, you have Rise, Son of Rome. On PlayStation, you have The Order of 1886, and Until Dawn, if you want to add in another one. So, I have to ask you, what is the need for incremental upgrades? You, on both sides, have not released games that set a graphical push at all you're you're not even releasing game defining anything they're not you know groundbreaking games they're not games that define anything what what do you need an incremental upgrade for what what are you afraid of what nintendo nintendo releases games that sell systems what do y'all do release games people want to buy as long as they have your hardware and xbox you're already releasing games that if you have a pc you just buy a pc version and you're good to go so who the fuck cares so what's the point in an incremental upgrade you don't have games that push the graphics and if that's the best your games look you really need to go back to the fucking drawing board because they're not that fucking impressive. Okay? Either that or I'm just not impressed. One of the two. Because I'm going to tell you something, man. There was a time when gaming really was impressive. This is impressive. Grand Theft Auto 3. Remember the one before it? This was impressive. This is not. Oh, they had a first person view. Congratulations. Now it's just Grand Theft Auto Call of Duty. That's not a fucking impressive. You want to know what would have made that impressive? If you'd have done it when Call of Duty started to blow the fuck up. Not years after everybody's getting tired of Call of Fucking Duty. That's how you make it groundbreaking and impressive. Now, you missed your opportunity on that. So, again. Where is this groundbreaking need for 4K? Where is this groundbreaking need? Where is this... We've pushed it as far as we can. I, I don't see it. I've never seen it. And a lot of people that work at game stores happen to say the same thing. Go into a GameStop and just be like, Hey man, I need a game that is a... Uh, 
like groundbreaking game like almost defines the generation and they're going to look at you like that doesn't exist we can give you uh, the last guardian but it's not really a game definer it doesn't change anything we can give you horizon zero dawn but it's not going to really it's not really moving systems they don't have one of those PlayStation doesn't have a, a system seller. Nor does Xbox. They don't have one. Okay, they've never had them. Xbox had one. They've got a face, but they're killing it. Halo's dying. Phil has killed Fable. So they're killing off the face of Xbox. PlayStation hasn't had a face in... Over two generations. It's hard to have a system seller when you don't have a face of a company. Something Nintendo has had forever. Mario, Zelda, Metroid, Pokemon. These are things that help Nintendo sell. And you can make fun of them for having those faces. But every time they launch a new one, people rush out and they buy the game. And they'll buy a system to play the game on. And you can say, oh, well, that's because people do it, uh, they do it all the time, and then they just give it to their kids. But they still buy the fucking thing, and they play it themselves. That's how they make their money. And you can be like, well, PlayStation sold 50000 without a face. Yeah, but if you had a face, you might have sold another 50000 on top of that. And if you s wouldn't re-release... Crash Bandicoot from PlayStation 1 and you came out with an original IP for it and had him doing original shit instead of selling a hundred thousand you might sell a hundred million get what I'm saying to you there's a reason why I don't care for the PS4 or the Xbox One I love my Xbox One as a cable set top box but as far as a gaming machine, it's really lacking. The 360 was better, and even the original OG, triple OG Xbox was better. There's more diversity in it. There's better games in it. The games were fun. They have replay value. There's It's all around. There's so much more fun to be had in older generations, PlayStation and Xbox. I mean, why do you think people are playing retros now more than ever it's because they lack a diverse fucking library on xbox and playstation just keeps rehashing everything and people are like well if you're gonna sell me the old shit i already have it go fuck yourselves trophies don't matter and graphics really don't i'll just go home and play it i already have it that's what's going on if you don't believe me Go into the nearest retro store. People will buy the cheaper version rather than give a PlayStation 4 $60. Trophies don't fucking matter. I went to a retro gaming store today, which is where I picked up this gym, this Grand Theft Auto Vice City, for $5. Actually, it was $4.50, but I paid $4.50 for this game. Go on PlayStation 4 right now. It's 15 bucks. People are not going to pay $15 for something they know they can get for $4.50. And they still work, still plays like brand new. And you get to hold a physical copy. And you get all the paperwork inside of it. And this actually has the uh, poster. That's the difference, man. You want to keep rehashing everything, that's fine. But realize... That does come at a cost. And the cost is your sales decline. This generation's in horrible shape. PlayStation and Microsoft. Both of you have tremendous untapped potential. Tremendous untapped potential. And both of you have incremental upgrades that are not even worthy of being released due to the fact that the shit that you've already got on the market is not even being fucking used. Not even being fucking used. Think about that. Oh, we've pushed it to the limit. Have you, have you pushed it to the limit? 
Or do you need somebody to walk in and backhand the fuck out of you? I think you need a good backhand and then be picked up off the floor and backhand again for saying stupid shit like that. Push to the fucking limit. You gotta be out of your fucking mind. Some of these games look damn good for the background settings. Uncharted 4 is a beautiful game to look at. Sometimes you find yourself staring at the background instead of playing the fucking game. Same thing with Killzone. It's more entertaining to sit there and look at the game surrounding than play the fucking game. Anybody remember Destiny? I just run around staring at the fucking scenery and not even play the game. It's more entertaining to do that with a lot of these games than it is to play the fucking game. So think about that before, you know, anything else. They're not pushing the boundaries of anything. They're pushing the boundaries of background scenes. They're not pushing the boundaries of playing the game. Games are not defining these generations. Hell, they're barely even breaking boundaries with anything anymore. They're scared to push the limits. They're scared to do anything with any of this technology other than piss you off with it. 